morning, everybody. My name is Colin. I'm here at LeJames International College Johnston Campus. Today is our Rub-A-Dub-Dub Hydrotherapy Tub Build Your Own Bath Bomb class. So in this bowl, to save time, I have combined a mixture of one cup baking soda, half a cup Epsom salt, half a cup of citric acid. Those are your three dry ingredients that you want to mix together thoroughly inside your bowl. Then, you want to separate your liquid ingredients, which we have a teaspoon of water, three teaspoons of olive oil, a few different drops of food coloring, preferably soap food color. Don't use food food coloring because we don't want you to stain. Could you imagine coming out of the tub like a blueberry? No. I then took a few essential oils, so I did rosemary, that's not lavender, lavender, and lemongrass oil. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix those liquid ingredients together. Try to. For those of you watching this who might be interested in joining us here at LeJames for one of any of our three programs, who'd have thought you would do chemistry in class, right? This is also a good way to expand your business. You could do like a create your own bath bomb bar at your salon. Then what we're going to do is very, very, very sparingly, we're going to add a small amount of our liquid into our bath bowl. It's gonna to start to fizzle because it does have citric acid in it, so don't be surprised. Be sure to only add a small amount of the liquid at a time. Don't go crazy because you'll ruin your mix ratio and your bath bomb will turn more like to bath sludge. Just gonna add a little more of that. <laughs> Wear a mask, baking soda, and citric acid. <laughs> hey, you're a little chokey, so. See, now you can see that the consistency of the bath bomb is starting to come together. I almost feel like once you've incorporated all of your liquid into the bath bomb, it might be best for you to use your fingers so you can really get that consistency. We're gonna keep mixing here. Now you're gonna see it's gonna start getting thicker. It's almost gonna look like a streusel for you bakers out there. Be sure to use a fork or a whisk. I'm gonna keep it nice and aerated. And as you can see now, the bath bomb is starting to become the cue of the food coloring I put in. I did a little bit of blue a little bit of red, and a little bit of purple. And now I'm just gonna get in here with my hands, and I'm really gonna mix that together. And it's got a good consistency to it now. And you can see the makings of a bath bomb. Now one downside to this is you do have to wait 24 hours for it to completely dry, and you wanna be really fast when you're putting it into a mold. Today, our teacher, Miss Hudson, got us Easter eggs. Um, you can hollow out the inside of tennis balls, pretty much anything that you want to use. If you have silicone molds at home, so you need lots of fun things like that, those would also be perfect for it. Just be sure and cover it because you don't want it to dry out. If you are going to use an Easter egg mold, you can probably get about four bath bombs out of this thing. So it's worth your money to invest in bulk, because then you can make as many as you want. So we are just going to make an attempt to close this as much as possible. And in 24 hours, you'll have your own bath bomb. Yeah. You guys have a good day.